On we go then with the action here on Stream 1 on PDC TV. It is Players' Championship 4, That's and right. this is the third of our first round encounters. We've seen wins for Daryl Gurney and Richard Vainstra, who will face off in the second round. And here on the same board, Nathan Aspinall taking on Bradley Brooks, former World Youth Champion. A little bit of a change in the commentary box now. 93. Joining me, Chris Murphy. It's that annoying bloke off the telly, Dan Dawson. Thanks, Murph. Lovely to see you too. Yeah, interesting board this, isn't it? Not only do we have 76. Nathan Aspinall, and of course they have changed things this year. So the even-numbered players' championship events, like this one, players' championship four, you know how right. numbers work. The top seeds aren't playing first, they're playing third. That's just to mix up the schedule a bit. It doesn't affect the structure of the draw, what but what it does do is mean that if you're a top seed on the board, like Nathan Aspinall is here, then you won't necessarily be first on every single time. But yeah, with the Asp, with Ooh, Gurney, with Ross Smith as well, European champion, but unseeded. There are few boards in the opening proto Seven events of the year where there are unseeded players who look so so dangerous ross smith is right up there as amongst the most dangerous and we'll see him in action next it will be a tough draw 22 for the asp if he does manage to overhaul bradley brooks which he has managed to do every time they've met before four times he's played four times he's won 40. he's not helped himself out there only knocks 40 off the 120 finish. And Bradley Brooks has got a chance of this. Oh, what a lovely dart that is. Double 12. Oh, unlucky. Two. That second dart was absolutely brilliant. You saw the little sort of Whitlock-esque half step to change the angle, slide down the barrel. Double 10 for the Asp. Well, he steps the other way. A little re-grip, trying to bounce it off the barrel Seven. and into the bed, but he missed the dart and the double entirely and Brooks can hang on to his throat by landing double six or double three well, it's a good attempt six and that one's equally as good but neither have found the target been some good darts and double in this leg still hasn't been one Game. there's one that does the job Double five for the Asp. It is only a 17 darter, but it's good enough for a break of throw after those four missed darts at double from Bradley. In control. Did have a 180 in that opening leg as well. Nathan Aspinall. 23. Who I think has acquitted himself well so far this year. I think he was... I mean, there's been a lot of controversy about players in the Premier League who haven't won things, but... Is there? I've not, I've not noticed it. Certainly would have been on my... Well, you have to toe the party line these days, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be darting <laughs> renegades like you, Murph, out in the wastelands, yeah. just no, I thought shooting they all, from the lip. I thought they all deserved to be in. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, they did all deserve to be in. It's unfortunate there's another six or seven that also deserve to be in. Yeah, and I think that's, that's the case, isn't it? And Aspinall, had he not been in, I think there would have been equal controversy about him not being in than some of the players that were overlooked. It's an annual tradition. I don't like the selections for a tournament that I promise I'm not going to watch anyway, so I'm going to get really angry about it on social media. 121. He's acquitting himself well here. The 180 in each of the first two legs, but Bradley Brooks has kept up the pace with him. Game shot. And despite leaving 60 after nine darts, he finds himself 2-0 down. It's got to be a tough leg to lose that one, isn't it? Absolutely magnificent from Bradley Brooks. Gets nothing for it. Oh, he's on fire here, Bradley. 140. Another little controversial subject that has been brought to the attention of Arrows enthusiasts is that of the changing of points. I'm just looking at these that Bradley Brooks is firing and imagine he won't be able to use them next year. Yeah, there are a number of restrictions on the points basically means there's got to be no grip or at least sort of ring grip type stuff you can have some marks going down the length of the points as i understand it but not ring grip anything within the last 15 millimeters of the point now it's obviously done to 
stop the boards getting torn to shreds and looking rubbish, particularly on the telly. But you have to say that the points that these guys are using don't seem to be doing any damage to the board. Yeah, and I think that'll be the defence, and I wonder if there is a defence being mounted by the players of PDPA who do feel more comfortable. Certainly doing the trick for Bradley Brooks in this match. And once again, he was on Six. a two data after nine and may lose the leg. Very good chance of it now. Double 16. Oh, Nathan Aspinall misses a chance to break again, but Bradley Brooks has yet to hit a double. That's Eight. changed. Lovely, lovely leg. Lovely dart. Lovely boy. He is a lovely boy. Bam Bam of Blackburn. 86. And what a start to this contest, as you can see by the numbers. And that's after, what was 17 dart opening leg? Yeah, and... 85. Seven missed darts at double between the pair of them in that opening leg. One hundred. It's not really surprising to see Nathan chucking some big numbers, though. We saw him go back-to-back -back 105 averages in the Premier League in Cardiff. 93. Which is right up there with his best Premier League displays and, indeed, TV displays. And it looks like the top level that he'd been searching for last year, that despite not finding, he still made two major finals. There is it darting storybook has a no, fair fine. few chapters in it Nathan Aspinall first of all recovering from uh, falling off the tour only having £10 in his bank account and going on to make a world championship semi-final winning a title to turn the £10 into £10,000 and then recovering Very from fine. injury to work his way back into big TV finals back into the Premier League back into winning form on tour yeah that would have been in well, Barnsley wouldn't it where he had to borrow a couple of quid to get his last tenner out of his account there should be like a blue plaque above the cash point good guide for the bull this great guide for the bull and he's used it perfectly lovely stuff it's only a 15 data but that is a satisfying finish to go for the asp 180 Bradley Brooks is really scoring heavily. He's just not getting many opportunities. And to be honest, he missed a whole bunch of them in the first leg. Yeah, standing up to everything that Aspinall is throwing at him. And that's a lot. 140. Just both men seem very, very comfortable playing each other. Another 185 in the game now. Only in the fifth leg. 140. Well, again, nine darts thrown, and Bradley Brooks is down to a two dart checkout. Keeps on happening. 134. Scoring for show. Game shot. And he gets a double for Doe. Pat on the thigh from Nathan Asp Aspinall, just in respect and admiration of the ability of Brooks to keep 100. taking these punches and keep punching back. Well, it's one of these games where they, there is nothing here but just this 96. metronomic big visit, big visit, big visit. They're pushing each other along. They both know they're playing brilliantly, and I think they both want to stay in this Anyone? zone because they'll be feeling so good that they just think, if I keep playing like this, he's not going to be able to handle that. The thing is, they keep playing like that as well, and they are handling 96. it. Somebody's going to lose here with a monstrous average. Pure darts. Bradley Brooks, of course, a quiz question 49. answer, isn't he? Willie Ball and fired in that famous nine dart finish against him in the last leg of their meeting at the Ali Pali a couple of years ago. I wouldn't be surprised to see a perfect leg in this one because 
most visits are near perfect in this match. Well, he's in the same sort of ballpark here, Nathan Aspinall, as he was three years ago when he threw his record average against Peter Wright here in Barnsley and hit a nine data in the process. Wright lost that game with an average close to about 113, I think, and Nathan was at 117. Bradley can't take the 170. Nathan has already had a bullseye finish with a good marker dart for the bull. Oh, and he doesn't repeat the trick, and he really, really fancied it. And Bradley Brooks could not wait to get to the hockey to have a go at this himself. Doesn't need to bother with the bull. Double five. Oh, just clips the wire. There have been a few of those in this match. It's going to be a, an unfortunate defeat for either player. But some days they just fall the other side. Well, for an 18 data, what's that? Rubbish. Six visit legs. 17. Oh, it's not even that for Nathan Aspinall. I could have a level game here. And this would be a break for Brooks. Double one's having to move across. That dart's in the way, but he finds a way and finds himself level. I'll tell you what, Bradley Brooks in this game, he has been absolutely brilliant at moving across the hockey, either opening up beds or using the angle of a dart that's already in the bed. Standing still there, can't produce the 180, but it's another two treble visit. There have been loads of those in this game. I just had a quick flick through my extensive notes of research before I come to these players' championship events, and I can tell you that that... That record average for Aspen on 117.5. Interestingly, record average for Brooks, 108.7. So we could see the best of Bradley here. One hundred and eighty. One eighty number four for Nathan Aspinall. One hundred and forty. Brooks misses out on a third max himself, but again, it's another three visits that gets him to within finishing range. Sam. To lead the match. <laughs> he was going for the, the bullseye twenty five segment. Probably the worst dart we've seen in the match. Uh, absolutely. By quite some distance. Does he stay there? No, he moves across. I that, think there's an argument for it. That last visit has just left a, a problem for Bradley Brooks. He hasn't solved it yet. 75. Now the Asp. Two at double four. No, oh, had to stop. 66. Well, the doubles are starting to be missed by these guys. It will drag the average down, but more importantly, game shot. It does not stop Bradley Brooks going into the lead. He has won four of the last five legs against a man who's still averaging 106 in this game. It will be after the game, I think, but it'll be worth uh, getting the calculator, calculator out and looking at the first nine average for the pair in this match because it has been sublime scoring at the front end of every leg. 60. To the point where Bradley's absolutely disgusted and seemingly confused that he didn't find a treble with at least one of those darts. 140. And despite all of the missed darts at double, both players still averaging in three figures in this game. Anyone? 's turn to have a little shuffle across the hockey 81. doesn't quite work out as he wanted but he knows he's got two visits minimum from here or well, might be two visits maximum the way that these are going a little bit unlucky with the final dart he's hoping to have his score there well that's been a looking for his third 140 of the leg this one would have won the leg but a ton will be the next best thing. Eighty-one. To level it up. Game shot. That's exactly what he does. Thirteen data. Eight legs played. All level. Bradley Brooks has the darts. 
averaging over a ton. Nathan Aspinall averaging 107. 96. Reminder, this is a first round match at a floor event. 180. They don't get it easy. They make it look easy, mind. Not the only player in trouble, 52. despite 107 average. Danny Noffitt was averaging 107, just on 4-3 downs of Raymond Van Barneveld. Rob Cross has beaten Graham Usher. Dimitri Vandenberg has got a win against right. Mensor Sulevic. All of this on the Dark Connect system, tv.darkconnect.com. But I would suggest you put the phone down for a second if you want to cycle through the scores, because the ending of this game could be fireworks, because Nathan Aspinall is pushing hard here to get back in front. Yeah, against a man as well in Bradley Brooks, who has won all of his first round matches so far this year. Had a run to the last 16 at PC1. Second round defeat to Rob Cross in PC2, and he was beaten by eventual semi finalist Matt Campbell in round two yesterday after beating Dimitri Vandenberg, another Premier League player, in round one. 12 segment now. Big dart. Oh, another bullseye finish for Nathan Aspinall. This one without any guide, any marker. Pins the bullseye to break the throw in the potentially penultimate leg of the match. And you can see from the reaction, he knew how important it was he found his mark then. Yeah, they're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. I'm sure you are too. But is Aspinall just starting to close the door? give Bradley Brooks an unfamiliar feeling of a first round exit in 2023. 100. Great year for him. Also qualified, didn't he, for both European Tour events last week. Well, I mean, that is important. There's a little bit of extra money for the first round of a European 60. Tour. It's not up to 1,500, which I was kind of hoping they might do, but it's still 1,250 just for getting into round one. Yeah, keeping it to a card and other ambitions of rising up the rankings is very dependent on being in those Euro Tour events. Just ask Scott Mitchell, who didn't qualify for any over two years and ultimately fell off the tour as a result. 80. Well, particularly now with the full calendar as well. You know, when we only had four or eight, it wasn't as big a chunk of money that you could get on that European circuit. 98. As Bradley just shoulders that one into the 18 segment. He's had a couple of darts like that. Yeah, both players who won't throw until they're absolutely comfortable. Nathan, well known for the, the reset. Brooks has exhibited that himself, but this has been an exhibition of 180 hitting from Nathan Aspinall, who now is poised to bring an end to an excellent encounter. A majestic display from the Asp. Flying high in the Premier League looking like he's finding his top level and this could be a magnificent year for Nathan Aspinall because 2023 has started magnificently a brilliant display from Bradley Brooks but Nathan Aspinall just too strong in the end sealed with a 14 data on double 16 enormous scoring from the pair of them throughout that match six maximums from Nathan Aspinall he had slightly heavier artillery and the average finishes at 108.53 magnificent from Nathan Aspinall and he could face the European champion Ross Smith next. He's up against uh, Christoph Kachuk in our final first round game of the day here.